First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, Eric here with First Capital RA3D. We are changing our direction a little bit since you saw us last. Uh, the way this mechanism worked, we were trying to use this to serialize the balls. The big problem with this is as you spin this, the balls all want to spin, for example, this way is counterclockwise. However, when the balls touch each other, they get very sticky together and they would act like gears that are trying to move in opposite, or like, um, if you try to move two gears clockwise and they're meshing, nothing happens, right? So the best way that we have found to manipulate these balls is to be able to uh, roll simultaneously on two sides of them instead of having one roller surface and one flat surface. Because as soon as the balls touch, it becomes very difficult to move them with a roller surface and a flat surface. So we'll have two roller surfaces. What this means is we're going to have to change our intake to one of two designs, which we have not yet finalized. Um, we are going to intake kind of like uh, one option is we're going to intake kind of like we were before, but we're going to have a small hopper of about three balls and two runs of belts. Uh, this way, the belts will bring the balls from in here in the hopper all the way to one side. We're going to yeah bring them up. We'll have poly belts that bring them all the way over to one side, and then Thanks we can suck them into the robot from here one at a time. R3D we have not prototyped this, but that's what we're going to currently work on. If we cannot get this design to work, we really, really like having a wide intake for several parts of the game. But if we cannot get this design to work, the most effective thing that we think we can do is to make an intake that can only intake one ball at a time because of its geometry. So a, a small, short, uh, not very wide intake. We we'll probably have a mechanum wheel, a mechanum wheel, and maybe two omni wheels in the center. And having a short intake that can literally only intake one ball makes it harder to drive, makes it hard to do autonomous mode, but it makes it so much easier to serialize the balls, which is the current hardest problem that we're working on. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.